What's up, Libra? How are you? I hope you had a good week. Let's take a look at the week ahead. Welcome to your reading for February 1st to 7th. So let's take a look. Now we're in February, so I do have um, love and career readings available for February specifically for each sign. So if you're interested in that, um, the links are in the description for this video. You can, uh, you can check it out if you want. All right, that feels good. No flyer cards this week. That's okay. Right, what is going on here? Okay. The things definitely feel a little unsettled here. We have two fives, and as you know, the fives are the most unstable number in the tarot deck. At least I think so. <laughs> um, I can feel the stress. That is for damn sure. So here's the thing. It's like, it's like you're actually okay. Whatever you're doing is good, but there's bullshit all around you. And it's, um, it's exhausting. That's how I feel. I feel fucking exhausted even looking at this. So let's talk about you first. You are the magician. Okay, Libra. So the the magician is, um, well, he's a magician. And this is my card for self-discovery. You're, you know, it's like maybe some of your friends, the company that you keep, like these people are kind of in a slump and they're staying there but you're figuring your shit out. You're growing as a person. You are um, getting closer to, um, I guess like your bond with your spirituality is getting stronger. And if you see here, the magician, he has one hand, his wand up here, pointed to the heavens. And then his finger is pointed to the ground. Now he's very connected to the spirit world and also very connected to the earth. Um, and, uh, he brings these two worlds together. That's what makes him so powerful. And again, this is a card of self-discovery. Not only that, but it's crossed with the Ace of Pentacles. So it's like, there's an opportunity coming your way, a job offer, um, something good. And yet everyone around you has nothing nice to say about it. Maybe it, in, maybe it involves you moving or something. And it's just like, I don't know. It doesn't even have to be, um, a job opportunity, but it's like, you are growing, you are leveling up and the people around you are not, and they're fighting it. They bitch about stuff. They are causing you grief. They're putting in their two cents wherever they can. And it's like, I don't know, Libra. I just feel like it's time. Um, I think you need to let go of some friendships and some of the company that you keep. There's just too much of this going on. And when this card comes up, this also means that there's like another party involved. And what I mean by that is like, Someone who has no business in your business is in your business. So I don't know. It's like there's some beautiful stuff going on here in the middle. And then we've got the tower. We've got the queen of swords reversed. Who's this bitch right here. When she's reversed, she's like my super Karen. Okay. She's super Karen. So she's there. We've got the five of wands, which is just fucking chaos. And then we've got the three of swords reversed. Like it just looks fucking like madness. So you're better than this Libra. You really need to try to cocoon this week. Try to put a protective, I'm not even joking, like put a protective bubble around you. Um, 
you know, say a prayer, ask for protection, imagine yourself in white light this week. It's not that, you know, everything is going to get shitty for you. It's just the shitty energy around you. And don't listen to any of the shit talk this week. Um, no matter what your situation is, whether you're in a new relationship, whether it's a new job, maybe it's a new endeavor, maybe you want to change your your career path completely whatever it is you're being urged so super karen down here when when she um when she shows up reverse first of all she can be a real bitch but um she's also telling you not to go backwards like when she's reversed the queen of swords is pointing to the past and in the past we have the tower which we don't want um, but normally when she's not a super Karen, um, she is pointing forward. The queen of swords is super resilient. She's fucking been through some shit. That's why she's not like super soft and cuddly. She can be a bitch. She's not going to coddle you, but she is always moving forward and she is strong as fuck. And you need to embrace this energy. You need to embrace this bitch of a woman. <laughs> you need to move forward. Always move forward. So if people are telling you to stay in the past, stay with what you're doing, move backwards, don't go forwards, don't listen to it, you need to keep moving forward. So ugh, I hate this energy. I don't like it. Fuck that Libra. Yeah, seriously, a bubble of protection this week because there's too much garbage around you. These people need to smarten up. <sighs> okay, here's the good news. These readings are for a week only, right? So everything is temporary and I do feel like by the end of the week, you're looking more like this guy. Like, wow, that was fucking crazy. He's kind of looking off in the distance and he's like, well... That was tough, but time to move forward. So I do feel like that by the end of the week, the chaos is going to be in the past and you can move forward, do what you got to do, not deal with any more bullshit. Um, also really important is uh, we've got the four of cups here and just know that um, while you're going through a bit of a tumultuous time with other people, the universe is constantly trying to send you, um, like send you some solutions, trying to send you a helping hand. They might be sending good people your way to, like the universe might be sending you good people to help you out, take you out for coffee, whatever it is. So make sure you're always very present and aware of your surroundings because the, the universe works in mysterious ways. Then, um, when it comes to your love life, I just feel like there's some delays, but at the end of the day, I feel like you're working towards having a beautiful connection and also you're, you're almost like the glue that holds the family together. Um, just know that you can lean on your partner. Um, also know that like, this isn't really the week for you to be giving your family all your energy. You kind of have to protect yourself and deal with your own shit. So, uh, but everything's going to be fine. Your family's going to be fine. Relationships are going to be fine. It's just, they have to take a back burner, a little bit of a back seat this week while you navigate through this. So, Anyways, I hope this made sense. I know there was a lot of like, oh, in this. Um, geez, I even feel it. I'm like, oh my God, this is crazy. Um, it feels chaotic, yes, but it will calm down by the end of the week. Just don't put up with anyone's bullshit and you will be just fine. You're on the right path. Keep moving forward, Libra, and don't take anyone's shit. So um, Libra, I will see you next week. Be good, be safe, and that is bye-bye for now.